So right now we're at the Turfgrass Research Outreach and Education Center at the University of Minnesota in St. Paul. Uh, this is a facility where we study uh, ways to use fewer inputs on turf grasses. So we do a lot of research on identifying grasses for low input systems. And we also do a lot of work on improving those grasses for low input systems. So a lot of what happens out here is related to figuring out which grasses can be used when somebody wants to manage them with less water, less fertilizer, fewer pesticides. A good portion of our research is on fine fescues, a group of grasses that you know doesn't need as many inputs. And we work in them in a lot of different contexts. We have research projects going on on roadsides, using fine fescues as home lawn, grasses. We have them on golf greens, golf course fairways, and no-mo situations. So just a lot of different studies uh, looking at both how to better grow fine fescue and then how to uh, improve the genetics of fine fescues. I had no clue. <laughs> um, I had no clue what was involved in turf management and uh, all, the, all the details. It's incredible and uh, I learned pretty quick. It's a lot of hard work and it's really combining biology, engineering, math. You, it, turf management is the definition of STEM. My background and what I'm doing here is uh, turf grass response as the light. Uh, I mostly do uh, shade research related to fine fescues. So we usually consider fine fescues very shade tolerant, but a lot of the work that we've done shows that it, they aren't all shade tolerant. I mean, there's actually a lot of variation that we're using, using to breed uh, for, for more shade tolerant fine fescues. My goal is to continue trying to better understand how turf grasses respond to light. Really, when you think about it, uh, urbanization is massive, right? So cities are increasing the number of people, increasing buildings, increasing trees. So what we need is grasses that grow well in those really intense shaded environments. If they don't, you just have bare soil, water runs off, chemicals run off, oils run off. So we really need turf meant for dense urban environments. There is so much to find out still. That's a really cool thing about um, plant science in general is there's so much we still don't know. I'm working on um, plant breeding and molecular genetics. And then I work on improving fine fescues for sod production. Now that we are developing these technologies to understand the actual inheritance and the DNA that makes these plants distinct from each other, now we can actually use that to understand why we're seeing differences in the field and how we can apply that to uh, produce superior varieties. But the whole reason we really want to work with these fine fescues is to provide a more sustainable option um, for all types of consumers. Any time that we can provide more options in the market and also make those options more affordable, that's a huge win. And so what I would like to do is, is really use what I've learned in, a, in, a, in my previous researches to make turf more sustainable in terms of like less water use, like more drought tolerant, less input, so reduce fertilizer or using plant microbe interaction to like reduce fertilizer input. And also working with grass that have like a, a slower growth, then you don't have to mow them as often. Trying, for example, to like understand more the physiology of the plant to improve its response to stresses is I think the next steps. 